my sister asked me to come to try this place called Kim Laksa, something very famous in Penang. Yeah, I can see that it's like very popular. It's at this uh, very small corner. Um, if you go from that side, you will back to Payatrobong. If you are visiting any durian farm in Penang, you definitely must come and try the laksa over here and the nutmeg juice. So it's called Kim Laksa. So I'm, there are the Asan Laksa and the Siam Laksa. I'm going to try both of them. I will show you what's the difference. I just overheard that someone ordered 15 pack of the Asam Laksa. So it's going to be very impressive. So when you come over to Penang in this area, um, they have this uh, nutmeg juice. It's quite popular, quite famous because it used to be a nutmeg plantation area and this is called Ambra juice it's also very good this is the Siam Laksa and this is the Asam Laksa two of them come with the prawn paste it looks very good and I saw something hang on mm. if you bring your outside drink they'll charge two ringgit per person so you ha at least have to order one drink otherwise you'll charge 50 cent for occupy the table yep Reasonable, yeah, they have to do business, right? I'm kind of excited right over here because I've uh, been in Penang for nine days. I have not tried my favorite Penang food, which is Asam Laksa. And then finally, I can try it now. I'm so touched. One very good thing, uh, important key for Penang Asam Laksa, there is uh, ginger flour. Uh, it's kind of costly, quite expensive, but it brings out the flavor very well for the Laksa. Um, I have never really tried the Siam Laksa before but my sister told me it's really really good, really good. It's one of her favorite. So I'm going to try my favorite first. Mm. This one is more to the Asam Sourish uh, flavor. So which you can see that this thing uh, uh, it's always happened to have it in the Pinang Pina Asam Laksa that I can't find it any elsewhere so you got to add on the crumb paste to make the soup taste slightly sweeter and more flavorful but some of the people they might not like it because that it's kind of fishy so let me try it after I add in the crumb paste It's really authentic, really, really nice. I like it. <laughs> it is um, actually a very um, healthy dish. A lot of fish, um, a lot of cucumber, lettuce. Some of them they'll add in the mint leaf. Some of them they'll add some uh, pineapple. Different style, different style. This is more to a very um, basic Pinan Asam Laksa. It is very, very, very traditional. I like it. So I'm going to pair this uh, drink. It's called, it's, it's called Ambala with Sour Plum. Ambala Sweet Boy in Hokkien. Yes, it is very refreshing. Mm. Some people in Singapore, they call it Bua Long Long. And um, in Indonesia, they call it Kedong Dong. Okay, this is something unique here. Um, it's always come to Penang. You definitely find that in most of the coffee shop. Mm, the nutmeg juice is really good. Um, they add on, add on the sour plum in the nutmeg juice, which I never tried that like, uh, before. It brings out a different flavor for the nutmeg juice. Really, really good. I would strongly recommend you whenever you come to Penang, you order the nutmeg juice with the sour plum. So in Hokkien, you will call Lao Hao Sui Boi. So let me try the Siam, uh, Asam, uh, Siam Laksa. Mm. Oh wow. Oh, now I know why that my sister loves this. Um, it tastes a little bit like cow soy, but it's a sweet version of cow soy uh, with a very fishy type of the cow soy. Basically, it's a coconut milk curry with the uh, asam laksa noodle. It is very flavorful. So in case that um, if you don't want something fishy, you should try this one, the Siam version of the laksa. Uh, I will gonna try both. So I hope that when you come to Penang, you um, visit the durian farm and then you come over in this area to try the laksa. It's a very traditional laksa. I hope you like this video. Bye.